Too little fanfare, the 2023 modular building, 10312 Jazz Club, got formally announced on December the 14th, with a much lukewarm reception. In this brief overview, I'll go over some good and bad points of the set. The first question is, would I buy it? Well, maybe at discount, or if there's a good promotional offer I can't refuse. As I should point out, I rarely buy LEGO sets at RRP, save for collectible minifigures, as I normally prefer spending the cash on Bricklink or one of the many other aftermarket products, um, you know, such as Buiz or something like that. Um, and the last module I brought, the police station, was no exception, having been brought when I had a lot of points to use and there was a promotional set to be gained for it. For the good points, I really like the more unusual and ornate features of the main dark red building's facade, including the brick-built signage and the angled doorway. The decorative grey bands and the window surrounds slash ledges are a good contrast against the other dark red buildings previously produced and other sets in the modular range. This is also the launch of the double bass as an instrument, which some rumours have suggested was salvaged out of the development bin when video got the plug pulled. The character selection is an, a nice mix of attire, especially the new singer's outfit. Moving to the negatives, uh, starting with the bass again, the instrument selection appears to be just the new bass, the drums and the saxophone. There's been no trumpet, trombone, clarinet or other instruments included, so you can't do a replica of a Glenn Miller or Humphrey Littleton uh, band, for example. The size of the building is also a contention. The interior is too small for both the music performance area and the refreshment area or bar. Likewise, the staircase, which is inside the main jazz club building, feeds both the Taylor and greenhouse levels of the Tacton extension, which, while feasible, seems a bit of a cop-out. In my opinion, it would have been better reducing the overall height of the building and making the Taylor shop the storage slash dressing room for the club or maybe uh, the bar area or something of that description. Annoyingly, it was revealed in the designer interview on Brickset that this could have been a dark blue jazz club to reflect the blues genre. But because test audiences didn't like the colour, they didn't proceed with it, making, making it yet another dark red building. Um, which has, again, been from, you know, there's been quite a few modular buildings in dark red colour. Once again, it is also another building without any toilet or washroom facilities. So, to summarise, it's got a cramped interior, it's yet another hodgepodge of buildings, there's a poor selection of musical instruments, and there seems to be a lot of compromises what appear to just be storytelling um, without it actually being really expanded in like a designer video or something. So, it's, it's something I'm not impressed with overall, and it seems to be another bit of the downward trend of the modulars, um, of instead of focusing on one good building, Reducing it to a slightly smaller building and then just trying to tack on other bits and features and, you know, to show off their skills. So, hopefully 2024 will be better, uh, but we don't know yet. So, that's, the, uh, that's it for this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.